Imagine a situation. You come home and decide that it's time to change something. So you violently break the furniture, throw the contents of the trash can on the floor, stop washing dishes and clean the toilet, and to top it all off, turn on the gas. The system is broken, but can such actions be called reasonable? Humanity behaves in relation to its global home, planet Earth. In much the same way, it destroys the animal world, litters incredibly, pollutes the atmosphere, depriving it of the ozone layer. Given the ability to regenerate, the long-suffering planet that sheltered Homo sapiens lasted as long as possible. But recently, it more and more often hints that we are staying here for too long. Where to find a new home? Should we hope for a mission to colonize Mars? Yes, it has been planned for a long time, but the red planet is not Earth's twin, so the difficulties of migration can be insurmountable. Is there a celestial body on which it is warm enough and not too cold? Ocean splash, an atmosphere is similar to that of Earth? Where can we find the cradle of future life of humanity? Attention to the constellation of Taurus. The Kepler telescope in March 2018 discovered, in this location, an object that supposedly has almost the same characteristics as the Earth. By a strange coincidence that has developed recently, the planet under the code name K2155D is located next to a red dwarf, a rather calm but dim long-lived star. A double of Earth has been discovered in a company of 14 other planets, but the conditions on them are unlikely to seem comfortable for the emergence or maintenance of life. The climate and temperature parameters of these objects are unfavorable, if only because their distance to the sun is too small. The year on each of them does not exceed 40 Earth days. In such cases, tidal forces act and the planets, being unable to turn away from their star, are constantly fried on the side. This means that on the illuminated surface, there is a hellish heat similar to that of Venus, and on the dark surface, there is cold and darkness. But there is hope. If at least one of these planets is shrouded in a dense atmosphere, then the situation will change. Due to the distribution of heat, the temperature in both hemispheres is relatively stabilized, although this will cause a hurricane of unprecedented strength. And yet, many astronomers do not believe in the existence of adequate conditions for the start of evolutionary processes on planets that circle too closely around red dwarfs. The absence of a magnetic field and strong flares from the star make the development of life on celestial bodies unthinkable. Despite the longevity of such celestial bodies, all this is true, but not for K2155D, according to Japanese scientists. A planet similar to Earth is located in the Goldilocks zone, so the formation of life on its surface is quite likely, although it probably looks at its star one-sidedly. The object contains three Earths and is 200 light years away. It is still difficult to study the celestial body in more detail, but NASA has planned a mission designed to clarify the conditions on 15 discovered planets, including K2155D. Let's try to imagine what we can expect in this distant unknown world. What if astronomers made a mistake in their calculations and the conditions on the planet are completely different from what is supposed to be? Waterless World Imagine K2155D as a celestial body on which the water is as hard as diamond, and rivers of liquid methane flow along the ancient channels, simultaneously forming poisonous lakes. It could be a dirty, foul-smelling frozen world in which, in theory, only methanogens, creatures, made up of cells based on nitrogen compounds will survive. Not a very tempting picture. Not life, but flint. It is possible that K2155D is seriously hot and its atmosphere is solid hydrogen with minor impurities. Suppose that in this infernal world, there were attempts to form life and the trace element from the periodic table silicon, which is part of many terrestrial rocks, replaced carbon, becoming instead the basis of evolution. In the same way, arsenic could take the place of phosphorus and sulfur successfully displaced oxygen. In this case, alternative biochemistry can lead life into labyrinth, and when the astronauts finally landed on the surface of the planet, they would be met by hot lava and extramophile. Such a hot welcome is also not comforting. But let's forget about the exotic methanogens and extramophiles. If, after all, 
The conditions on K2155D meet expectations and are at least somewhat close to Earth's, then once they reach its surface, the astronauts will see an unusual world. They will be met by absolutely black vegetation, which over centuries has adapted to more efficient absorption of the full light spectrum and thus optimized photosynthesis. Perhaps the plants on K2155D have got filters that protect them from the radiation periodically emanating from the parent star and also increase the volume of the root system so that the most severe storm does not carry them away. On the side that is always turned towards the sun, people will see a huge ocean, land and mountains illuminated by a ghostly reddish light. Due to the fact that the sun never sets in one hemisphere, the shadows cast by rocks and vegetation will remain unchanged for centuries. According to Convergent Evolution, and conditions similar to Earth's development should take place according to a well-known scenario, so it is possible that the aliens will meet even animals on K2155D, small and completely deaf due to the fierce wind. Scientists believe that if the planet is inhabited, then most likely it will not be completely covered by the ocean. After all, in this case, all the substances necessary for the course of chemical reactions will be buried under the thickness of the liquid. Anyway, the celestial bodies circling near red dwarfs are definitely candidates for a potential registration of humanity. Who knows, perhaps a century later, our descendants who are not at all like today's people will watch their blood-red sun, which never goes beyond the horizon, occasionally remembering the Earth, a planet that has long sunk into oblivion. We are always up to date with science news because our channel keeps up with its